All right, brand new music there from Chris Brown. Just releases his new music video. Yes. Looks good. Looks good. I'm Look waiting for the album. 40 songs in the new album. It's a double feature. Double feature album yeah. from Chris Brown coming up soon. Dozens of songs. All right, Vora Charnas joins us here in Tel Aviv for a dose of culture and entertainment news. Mm -hmm. We're going to call up with you in a second. But first, let's go to Hollywood where Jason Nathanson has the latest on the countdown to new music. Hours away from Taylor Swift. New music from Taylor Swift is just hours away. She's releasing a new single tonight, the first off her just announced upcoming album, Reputation, Swift's first album in almost three years. The news comes a little over a week after her sex assault court victory and a few days after she wiped out her social media accounts. And she's not the only one with a big album announcement. Demi Lovato says she has a new project coming out September 29th called Tell Me You Love Me. She'll perform the album's first single, Sorry Not Sorry, at Sunday's MTV Video Music Awards. Ariana Grande couldn't play a show in Vietnam last night because she's sick. She had to cancel the Ho Chi Minh City stop on her tour, posting on Instagram that she's dealing with health problems and the doctor wouldn't let her take the stage. She apologized and is expected to perform Saturday in Beijing. The 1987 Prince concert film, Sign of the Times, written and directed by Prince, is considered by some a classic, but not many have seen it. It was never released on DVD, and it hasn't been in print in the U.S. since 1991. The last time it aired on TV was over 10 years ago, but we'll be able to see it soon, thanks to Showtime, which just announced Sign of the Times will air September 16th. And that's what's happening in Hollywood. All right, back now, Dvorah. We know, like, nothing about this Taylor Swift song. Like, nothing. Nothing. Zero. She's kind of, like, having a Beyonce vibe in terms of, like, keeping everything so hush-hush. She even wiped out, like the, the clip said, wiped out her social media last week and gave kind of, like, hints all week this week by posting, like, videos of snakes, which is what her critics call her. Anyway, so the album drops November 10th. The single drops tonight. She's going to be performing at the VMAs, where her nemesis is going to be hosting Katy Perry, who also, coincidence or not, also also dropped her new single. She released a teaser for her new song, Swiss Swish, earlier this week. And 12 hours after the announcement of Taylor Swift, dropped the entire six-minute video clip. All right, so we'll stay on top of that. Moving on to, speaking of singers, so uh, interesting pairing that you wouldn't think would go well together, but apparently they made beautiful music together. They do, Ariana Grande and Seth MacFarlane. Who would have thought? Seth MacFarlane's the guy in voice and family guy. The creator, the genius Ted. behind everything. Yes, Ted as well, who sounds a lot like Peter Griffin. And uh, so they were on Car Carpool Karaoke, which is an Apple Music spinoff of Carpool Karaoke from James Corden. We have a clip. Let's take a look. Dora, Little Shop of Horrors, that is my favorite musical. I've seen it like around the country, saw it on Broadway. I love that movie really? and the musical. Beautiful. I, I liked it. I wouldn't say it was my favorite, but it's it's definitely fun. It's really cool stuff. <laughs> uh, so who would have thought? Beautiful music together. Then, so the clip was, was apparently filmed about a year ago. Ariana Grande posted it to social media. But it's... It's amazing because the two of them have such a love for Broadway and for musicals, so it was just a nice, and Very it's nice. such an unlikely duo to begin with, so they sounded lovely together, I think. Moving on. Oh, America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent, so it airs every Tuesday night live, and this week... Uh, Doesn't Simon have talent? I mean, I'm personally Canadian, so okay. ca Canadians clearly have talents. Americans get your own show. <laughs> All right, so what's going on in AGT? So, America's Got Talent this week. Melanie B. from Spice Girls was a little ticked off with Simon Cowell. Let's take a look and we'll see why. Simon, I'm sure you've experienced things before, live, crazy stuff happening. How, how does this make you feel right well, now? Well, I'm kind of imagining this would be like Mel B.'s wedding night. A lot of ants. <laughs> Mel B is out. <laughs> this is live TV, y'all. This is Guess live what? TV. 
Wow, some drama there. Well, huh? Simon Cowell, he has a big mouth. I think he deserved it, no? I, I, I mean, I don't know. Well, so, Mel B seemed to think so, and she didn't care that it's his bo her boss or not. She decided, enough. enough. Walked off That's stage, right. came back during the commercial break, but I think her point was ta hers taken. Very good job. <laughs> some interesting stuff there. Appreciate it, Dvorah, for bringing us these comments. And we'll wait to see. I'm very excited for Taylor Swift's I'm next excited, album. also. All right, Dvorah, Charles, thank you so much. Great job, as always.